Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. I am unstoppable. I will be governor again for four years. Obaseki. Wow. Both statements from the governor of Edo State, Governor Gordon Obaseki, who has gone through a lot during this period. Um, a lot has happened. This same governor was told he was not qualified by the party through which he became a first-time governor in Edo State. Uh, he, he had his first tenure, the first four years, has gone by quickly, and it seemed like only yesterday when he became the governor of Edo State. He served the people of Edo State, and, um, you know, the same party that had a screening committee, and he was screened, the same party com conducted another screening, and said he wasn't qualified. The same credentials he presented four years ago are the same credentials he pre presented now. And they said, well, not good enough. That's what it is. Uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki then left APC and went to PDP. In PDP, uh, he was given uh, he was given waiver, and um, you know every other aspirant stood aside for him to have a consensus, uh, to become a consensus candidate, to be the governor again for the next four years. He's saying, I will be the next governor for the next four years. Uh, we pray that God will grant you your request because um, it's an unto a man to plan, but God knows the end. We pray that uh, as you have desired it, so it will be. Um, let's go into the news and get all the details. I am unstoppable. I will be a governor again for four years, Obaseki. Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State has boasted that he will be governor again for another four years. The governor made a boast Friday morning while making his acceptance remarks after being declared winner of the People Democratic Party primaries held at the Samuel Obamedio Stadium in Benin City. The election, which commenced at about 4 p.m. on Thursday, was concluded at, f at about 1 a.m. on Friday morning. He described his emergence as the party standard bearer in the September 19 election in the state as triumphant over transgressive forces that have determined to hijack the state from their selfish ambition. Today, history is being made in Nigeria because the victory we are celebrating today has been a long and strenuous work, a struggle work to political freedom, which has cumbersome in our election and have emerged as a flag bearer for our great party. By the grace of God, I will be, I will be the governor again for another four years. I wholeheartedly accept the responsibility which has been entrusted on me by the, by the representative of our great party and their responsibility will enable me to consolidate our achievement till date. It will help me to deepen good governance in Edo State and it will help us to restore the pride of Edo people and make the state one of the best to live in and do business in Nigeria. Today marks a definitive moment in the political history of our state and indeed our country. Our story is one of courage in the face of crisis and ultimate disturbance from every quarter. A triumph over transgressive forces that have determined to hijack our state for their own selfish endeavors. With today's election, we have demonstrated again that no mountain is too high to stop the aspirants of our people and that if we, have, if we put our faith in God, and in one accord to make life better for the greater and the greatest number of our people, he will bring it to pass. The governor who, dis who disclosed that there are mountains during the struggle when he was tempted to quit, thanked the leadership of the People Democratic Party for providing him shelter under the umbrella when he was swept away by the reign of APC. 
Let me use this opportunity to thank the chairman of the People Democratic Party Governor Forum, Halaji Ahmed Tabawa, Governor of Sokoto State, and our other colleagues, partners, Governor Wiki of River State, Governor of Oboni State, my brother, Governor of Delta State, and all the executives, and many more who are not here today, but have stood with us and by me. We are entirely grateful to PDP governors, leaders of our great party, particularly the national chairman Uche Secundus, and all the members of our national working committee who have provided us the shelter under that large umbrella in a storm that have pushed us out with nowhere to turn to. With your continuous support, we will make Edo State greater than we met it. As children of God, we will do our mandate in victory. We will work so that God will reward us. But we will not forget that when the rain, when the rains we are beating us, PDP provided us with the umbrella, he said. The People Democratic Party governorship candidate also thanked the election, the electoral committee, and the third of his and the third of his co-aspirants who stepped down for him, noting that his emergence would not have been possible without their ambiguous sacrifice. I truly, really appreciate you. You are courageous and brave men. I salute your courage. He said, I salute all Edo people at home and abroad, as well as our friends from all over the states for standing and believing that a better Edo state is possible. If we allow the people and not overbear our, uh, if we allow the people to decide what they want, we can provide and adequately serve them. And we will not allow Godfatherism to lead the states because there will be no development. I want to commend my co aspirants for their sacrifice. This victory won't have been possible if Ken in Mosubo have not declared to uphold the greater good, to uphold the greater idea. For greater I do state, I will not be here. Sounding it the way it is, I appreciate you, Ken. My brother, Engineer Gideon, I thank you. And my younger brother, Honorable Omagbo Ihema, your decision to step down for me, I do not really know how to appreciate you. But I want to say thank you, and I really appreciate you. I was called and humbled by his call to action and challenged to conform by to confront any man, the bearer that stands in our way in progress of a do state. Earlier, the primary electoral committee chairman and governor of Bauchi State, engineer Bala Muhammad, announced that out of the 2,234 200, delegates of our party, 2,202 200, 2, were accredited to the election, but two 2024 voted. Of these figures, Obaseki recorded a total of 1,952 votes, representing 96.4% of the total vote cast, while 72 votes were void. Mohammed further explained that since the other aspirants stepped down for Obaseki, any vote cast for them is done void. Following the transparency and credible manner in which this election has taken place and has been conducted as a chief returning officer, I hereby declare Governor Gordon Obaseke the winner as he declared for the Edo State PDP primary election. Well, my people, you've heard it all. Governor Gordon Obaseke has given his acceptance and a speech with regards to all that happened yesterday, Apple Line Media will keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. Governor Gordon Obaseki emerged the winner and see him thanking all those who have given him the opportunity to become the governor of Edo State. He appreciated every single person for their immersed contribution. What they have done is not a small thing, it's a thing of courage that a man will lay down his ambition for another man is something that is admirable.
the governor went ahead and thanked PDP for their continuous support, for their continuous support all through the struggle. When he was pushed away, that was a very good one. By the way, by the reign of APC, he said he said uh, PDP gave him the umbrella to stay under. That was a very good one. And I was quite touched by the speech he gave on those who stepped down for him, or the aspirants, and as you could hear the figures, he got 96% of the votes. Uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki has become the uh, governorship candidate for the People Democratic Party. The one said person who the uh, APC said was not qualified is now the qualified person under PDP to contest for governorship ex uh, election come september we will keep you up to date and uh, we'll keep informing you of all that is going on with regards to this election and more we love you have a good day bye for now